My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well. I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but being my older brothers were bigger and heavier, they were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking. Roscoe Bob Bryant. Are you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. All right, I think he's done talking. But yeah, we're back with part three here on our next bounty hunt. Not so great train robbery is the mission name, so we're gonna be boarding a train. Something's going on. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assume the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. All right, I think this one had a, uh, I think this one had a nugget of truth in it, so we don't have to go that way. Great. I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? Well, I made my way off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to disperse them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Oh. We do have to jump to it. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperados. <laughs> Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my Pretty way towards my side. prey. I don't think we can pierce that. 
And I'm surprised you got me into like a death It was mode. mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. What the? the bullet just came out of his hand. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Yeah, this is another really awesome mission. Alright, which way do we want to go now? Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Well, that messed up this train compartment. <laughs> I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in, guns a blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? Goddamn Pinkertons. Am I gonna die from this? Okay, good. Sometimes he takes a lot of fall damage. calls here. My guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left. I had to cut them down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail. God. Yep, Gatling gun sections. They're always tough because you're in a you're just in a still position where you can't move from. At least on higher difficulties. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. 
Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. I know. On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamped for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. Shorter mission, but a really awesome one. I'm glad I'm nailing these duels. Duels take a little bit to get the hang of, but they you can actually master it basically. Especially if you do the duel challenge over and over again, you get it gets easier. But yeah, let's move on to the next mission. This actually could be the finale, because uh, we don't have too much more to go, but we'll, we'll find out how long this takes to get through the rest of these missions. But yeah, let's just move on. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. A long trail here. Crazy, he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Coming. What the hell's that? Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. All right, which way am I going here? Oh, that's right, I need to find this thing first. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. get to it. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. <sighs> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. Alright, easy the does it. The bridge was rigged with dynamite. So I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. I know we have to disarm the dynamite on this level. Oh yeah, here we go. And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. I was just not hitting him.
Oh, he's armored? Shit. So, what happened then? Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Jesus. I almost really die from that. Man, they're hitting me from all sides here. You should mention that, darling. As actually, there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Oh, the thing he's got those eye holes. Did I get a double head shot on that one guy? I think it actually pierced through the one guy I shot and hit the guy behind him. Shit, he's hitting me. So I proceeded onward. I realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Um, do I go that way right now, or do I go up? Oh, okay. I was going to try to jump, but I wasn't sure. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Run! The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. Hey, where do I go? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I didn't make it. Yeah, as you can see, it's been a while since I played this. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. All right, no more explosives. Precisely, they found me. Thanks, Tracer. Keep telling you. Nuttier than a damn fruitcake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got another double head shot. Just when I thought lie. things couldn't get worse. Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Oh, 
Another Gatling. Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Show yourself, you coward! Oh, I actually kind of wish in Bound, like you could dual wield it like in Bound in Blood. You can have a revolver in one hand and dynamite in the other. Come on. Curry himself. Well, we failed successfully, I guess. <laughs> Himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Nice. We actually made it to the duel this time. Other than beating it and then dying. Come on, speed. as he was I was just a bit faster and as he lay wounded I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant he shouted at me is that what this is about Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America you ain't never finding him <laughs> Those were his last words. There we go. Another great mission. Really fun. I died beating one of the objectives, but... Yeah, let's just move on. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. I confronted them as they were robbing a train. Bullets were flying at me from every which way. He started killing the ones in the back, all the way, way to the front. If I was gonna find this gym. Is 
actually a nugget of truth in here. People who need those. Wait a second. Now, how'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. Man, this game's just so awesome. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I reached James that. James Younger Gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? You All right, that was nice and smooth. Anyway, what the? Excuse me, Ben. Where would I find the gentleman's facilities? Suddenly, I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks, and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. Oh yeah, I remember this part. It keeps looping because he's not telling his story, so you're just like stuck in the same loop. so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. Huh? I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the but ball. But you seriously think that tired old man went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jesse James? Huh? Well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. At some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton! Now, I never worked for that Limey cunt sucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother all around me. killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. Don't like when they're in my face like this. I bet you are. God damn you! Die, you bastard! I wonder if I could have just been above them.
came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Shoot the chains? I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train. Or the bastard I was after. Jesse hired a damn army after Northfield. Guess he didn't want to be outgunned like that ever again. I think you can knock this right about over. Then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. It's actually a nugget of truth that's yeah, actually on this like table. It's one of the harder ones to asshole? see because you're Gatlin you might guns. be focused. It, well, it's in plain sight. That's Guess why it's easier to miss. Now, I don't remember it's like one of those situations. It, it was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. I don't like being next to this. Damn it. Can I just kill a guy up here? Yeah, there's a lot of guys. Shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. That was a good combo. Jesus Christ. Oh, I think we're at the point where we were at the beginning. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. Yeah, because this is where I like rewinded. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. Yeah. Another awesome mission. There, come to think of it, there are no bad missions in this game. It has like consistently good missions that are always fun and have great level design. And then the duels too. The duel system is like, I feel like the duel system in this is when they perfected the duel system out of the Call of Juarez games because it, it, it's like one of those things where it's, it's easier to learn and master than like if you take the time to do it and it actually just, it changes everything. It makes it feel way better. But yeah. Let's just move on. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch, Jim. 
I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Oh, Jesus. Came out of nowhere. Oh, what the hell? Did he just Albert Wesker run at me? <laughs> he like jolted forward. Alright, not this time. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Well, this is where we had our gray wolf now, vision. Was, Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the red man. Like that time. Did I tell you about gray wolf? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. Oop, can't pierce that tree. Not getting hit, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. So, did you ever find him? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. Do you ever think about death? That was one hell of a Mr. combo. Grace, are you alright? Oh, Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this? That I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me. Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, just spare me over till another year. 
So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. Alright, we gotta dodge some shots here. I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. Yeah, that branch that I pointed at when he was singing, that actually has a nugget of truth on it. I remember that one. This is in such a weird spot. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother, Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man, as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him. He was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Hell, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge, as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Graves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite! And on your purse! A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit. I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Yeah, once you get the ability to split dynamite after throwing it, those moments are so easy to beat. <laughs> it does so much damage. And I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. So, what happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookout. Ow. I hit left and then tried to go right. <laughs> yeah, I hate how unreliable that auto target thing is. Like that. It's like, why does it auto lock? It's just gonna miss. But rather than wander in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Bell Star. 
While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive woman, exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone <laughs> please kill him? Dead guy just fucking get the last shot on me like that? Took out a big chunk of them. Just me and Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Damn. And repay him, I did. And even with high focus, that uh, the crosshair was still big enough for the bullet to kind of go anywhere. But we we dodged his shot and successfully got him. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, I don't know if we're at this, the last mission or the second last mission, but we're almost done. So this probably will be the finale. Let's just continue well I don't know about you boys but I'm pretty bait well it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character seems a shame he never had to pay well funny thing about that I did have one more chance at him Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Yeah, this is actually the last mission. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one... Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. Nothing Jesus. could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid, but... That chapter of my story, you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? 
Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling hell? apart. Oh, here we Just go. Just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Ryan's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Jesus. A lot of them. Trying to get the sky up above. Pretty sure they keep infinitely spawning because this moment is like scripted. But you obviously prevailed since you sent me to town yesterday. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonnie. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Graves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came to me guns a-blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. You know, fighting ghosts now. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. Did I hit the dynamite at the exact moment he threw it? But in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Harden. Just like I remember. Kind of hard to see the ghost. appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. Oh. But no ghost army was walls. stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead.
the Dalton brothers, Robert and Grant, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. Kind of careful here. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. In my face. Woodson, James and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought. Okay, obviously they're scripted to not take that much damage. They just stop getting hurt. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. It is mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Yep. Standoff duel. This one's kind of tricky because you have to aim between them. I usually just stick to one of them to build my focus up, though, and then worry about switching between them when the heartbeat starts. Because then I at least have decent focus at that point. Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Yeah, that would be the final mission. We're just going to be in uh, story cutscenes after this. I'll have both endings play back to back and then have the credits afterwards, which will have my closing thoughts. But yeah, I love the good, the bad, and the ugly reference there. They even have like a music theme playing that's 
not it's not the same but it's it's eerily similar but yeah that that duel is always really cool all right let's head into the ending cutscenes here we're gonna do the revenge ending first and then the redemption ending afterwards Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Holy shit! Right, Move against that wall. Go! Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You're looking might shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in something like this. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir, huh, Mr. Greaves. So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? as I've sold my soul for it, and will never again walk for those I have lost. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along, why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm, uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir.
I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob. There we go. We got both endings. We finished the game. Uh, even though it's the short, it's a really short game. It's still easily one of my favorite Call of Juarez games. Well, it's easily my favorite Call of Juarez game, I should say. But yeah, I mean the level design, the pacing, everything is just really nice in it. it kind of reminds me of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. That's my favorite Far Cry game, even though it's one of the shortest ones. It's like everything is just made right in it. Uh, I wish Techland would actually continue to make Call of Juarez games that build off of this style, but maybe make it like a fully fleshed out game instead, because this is an arcade game technically, but always really enjoyable, always like it. Uh, I would easily recommend this to anybody who's interested in like Wild West themed games. Even if you're not a big fan of like Bound in Blood or the first Call of Juarez, this one is, this one is actually really fun. But yeah, um, our next game, the Wild West Marathon, is a game that I'm actually excited to play, which is Gun, because I've never actually played it before. I've only tested it out just to make sure everything's going to be working for when I record it. But yeah, I've always been interested in that game, and like I said, I've owned two different versions of that game. I, I Well, I mean, I own two different versions of that game, and um, I still never really played it. Because I have it digitally on 360, and then I have it physically on GameCube, because I just picked it up. Because I, I found it used, and I knew the GameCube version was the only version that ran at 60 frames per second. Yeah, so I'm excited to play that. And then after that, we're going to be doing the Red Dead series, starting with Red Dead Revolver. And then we're going to play Redemption 2 first, before Redemption 1, because we're going to be playing it chronologically. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm I am undecided if I'm gonna do Undead Nightmare yet. Uh, it depends how close we are to the release of um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I'll probably be live streaming that next to my like my perspective of games, and then my friend Slice by Game will probably be live streaming his perspective and stuff like that. So we we played the tech test and it was really fun. But yeah, thanks for checking this game out with me. Uh, I'll see you in Gun.